Jones here. To this week's video is called Follow Up in Writing. Now, my former HR manager, called Daria, would regularly call out from the back of the office as I would finish advising another manager. Follow up in writing, Dawn. You know, I'd hear her and I'd roll my eyes again and think to myself, that woman loves an email. Now, in spite of how I felt at the time, I am forever grateful for her discipline. Daria knew something that I was yet to discover. That is, my future self will thank me for documenting my actions correctly. I can't tell you how many times the follow-up in writing discipline has helped me to document and retrieve information regarding the actions I have taken and the advice I've given to managers. So I've been able to retrieve things like file notes, <clears throat> information to respond to um, employment tribunal claims. And since most of my follow-up um, documentation was actually sent by email, they were also date and time stamped. So here are five reasons to follow up in writing, or in other words, document your action or actions. Number one, conversations disappear into the ether. The old ad adage, if it's not written down, you can't evidence it, may come to roost unpleasantly. Number two, it is a contemporaneous note of your communications and agreed actions. Three, you may need to rely on your records in the future. Four, failing to keep appropriate records and documents can potentially become a conduct issue and dealt with under the disciplinary process. And fifth, Failing to appropriate, appropriately document a formal process can cause, can, sorry, can call your credibility into question. Now, last week I was reading through, um, uh, or by the time you actually watch this video, that will probably be recently, I was reading through a race discrimination judgment. And I was struck by the consistent failure of the individuals or managers employed by the um, organisation um, defending the claim to adequately document and justify the parts of the process they were responsible for. For example, crucial conversations and interactions between individuals were not documented and this came out in evidence before the court. Witness statements were not signed or dated. The other issue was that no notes were taken of discussion, sorry, discussions with potential witnesses. And seriously, if that wasn't enough, the hearing chair could not recall many aspects of what happened during the disciplinary hearing. And the chair also failed to take notes of the proceedings. Now, these actions significantly contributed to the undermining credibility and probably the embarrassment of the individuals who failed to follow up crucial actions in writing. Remember what Daria used to shout out to me from the back of the office? Follow up in writing. This may simply be sending a brief note to yourself or someone else. On the other hand, if you are responsible for documenting a formal process, ensure that this is done scrupulously and you can demonstrate that you have critically examined the evidence in order to demonstrate a transparent, fair and robust process. Follow up in writing. It's a practice worth adopting. Remember, be HR wise. Bye-bye.